The following podcast is a Dear Media production. First of all, thank you for coming. Of course, I'm so happy to be here. I'm so happy that you're here. And I cannot believe somehow, some way I landed on your page because we have a mutual friend. Yes. And I was looking at your page and I saw like certified astrologer and I was like, oh my God, like this is what I've been needing. I wanted a certified astrologer to come on this episode. But then I saw the senior director of product development part and I was like, oh shit. Like, how does one become both of those things at once? I know. It's it's kind of an interesting story. I'll give the Cliff Notes version. So astrology has always been a part of my life. Mm-hmm. So um, I had a natal chart reading, which is like when you have your chart read at my, when I was an infant. <gasps> so my dad's, uh, one of his best friends did the chart reading at my naming ceremony. So astrology has always been a part of my life. So Whoa. when I was in college, like right out, of, fresh, fresh out of college, I met the Astro Twins. I was working at um, in an office in Beverly Hills, and they came in. Their manager worked in the office, and they were like, "You're either a Taurus or a Scorpio." What are you? I'm a Taurus. <gasps> <laughs> Wow, I was like, I hope they were right. Yes, at least. Uh, yeah, with just looking at me, no, they hadn't seen my birth time yet, and I'm a Scorpio rising, and I'm like, how did you do that? Yeah. And so ever since, like, I started studying, I started taking classes, I did it for years, just working with people without getting paid. Meanwhile, I'm still doing my other career, Mm -hmm. which is in beauty product development, um, working at different companies, big brands. And so it's something that I've always done both of. And um, in 2015, after a lot of free readings, I was like, I need to get paid. Like an ex-boyfriend of mine had been like encouraging me to do it. Um, And so that's kind of how it all started. And um, it's kind of history. So it's almost like I've had these two paths and I kind of merge both now. Mm -hmm. Um, And it's been really fun. I've done like brand collaborations. Um, For Verse, I did an event. Um, We had a launch event down the street and I did readings at our toner event. (laughs) So it's a lot of fun. Yeah, but I I love really working one on one with people, um, helping them with love. Like that's probably like the main topic, love and career, I would say. Mm -hmm. Um, So, yeah, it's, it's fun. Because everyone wants to know, like, what sign will bring me love? Yes. Or what is it about my sign that's kind of, like, repelling love away from me Mm -hmm. or, like, certain relationships away from me? And I feel like, obviously, we're going to get into it because when I say people had questions, (laughs) they have questions. And I know you're, like, the perfect person to answer them. But I just, I'm, like, so blown away, first of all, at the fact that your parents had this chart made for you because I feel yeah. like you know in the black community oh it's I know. like it's like yeah yeah for you're sure you're talking about demons yeah like, no no you're right like you're into so astrology yes. it's like you are you're praying you, to the devil yeah. you have to be it's like skip yeah what are you doing if devil I worship if yeah. I even talk to my grandma about signs she's like what you need to pray <laughs> You don't need the signs. You need you Jesus. Need, you need Jesus. <laughs> I know, that's right? I know. That's funny. So, how? What's like your cultural background? Like, how are they into it? How are your parents? That's into a good it? question. So, I'm from born and raised in LA, but my dad, he actually, um, he's an Egyptologist, an architect. So, he does a lot of work with African spirituality. Well, that's kind of like how we were raised. Is yeah. More African spirituality. So, it wasn't like a weird thing for me to do astrology because it was a non traditional household already. You know what I mean? That's so, so fucking yeah. cool. Oh my God. I wish that, I wish, that, I love Egypt. I love like that uh, whole entire, I know, all it's of beautiful. that. <gasps> yeah. It's, uh, it's, oh, it's the best. That's yeah. so exciting. Wow. Okay. So then your parents were already very cool and not, yeah ridiculous um (laughs) to thinking that like astrology is some kind of weird made up thing the way that i see it when people are like because you know there's always people when you like ask them what's their sign they're like i don't believe in that and it's like how can you not how can you not believe and you know even i'm a christian yeah but like how can you not believe on the christian side of things that like the person who made everything that we see didn't make the planets align in certain ways like it's all intentional for sure like that's exactly it's we're a part of the world i always say like we're a part of this universe why wouldn't we be affected by it right we're affected by the weather we're affected by the ocean by the moon yes. you know all of that so to me it's not that hard to believe right um and yeah if you believe god was a creator then he was the ultimate creator of astrology and he made exactly he's yeah. the originator he's the original <laughs> the astro fashionista <laughs> 
Um, and it, like even just when it comes to our bodies and the way that we're affected, daylight savings time. Yeah. Like, I have five sisters. If we're all in the same house for too long, our period starts syncing up. You oh, can't tell me that's the that, that don't have something to do with the moon. For real. That's the worst when you get on the same cycle as somebody. <laughs> It's horrible. It's like, don't bring your period over here. <laughs> like, we don't need to be connected in that kind of way. Exactly. And even like Mercury retrograde. Yes. Like, y- I know it. when Mercury is in retrograde. Yes, yes. I am affected. What's your sign? I'm a Scorpio. Oh, Scorpio, yeah. Well, have you had your chart done before? I know my, well, I have my chart. Okay. But then there's like two different kinds of charts. There's which, so many different charts, but your natal chart kind of doesn't change. So, okay. So I'm a, my big three. Yes. Scorpio Sun, uh-huh. Virgo Rising. Oh, okay. Libra Moon. There you go. So that's the reason why you're affected by Mercury, because Mercury is your chart ruler. Because you're a Virgo Rising, and Ver- Mercury rules Virgo. So, <gasps> so that's like a very beginning. important planet for you. Mm-hmm. So anytime Mercury's out of whack, you're going to be feeling kind of out of whack because it's your chart ruler. It's like driving the car of your life. That explains um, a lot. Exactly. Yeah. <gasps> Because I feel like it affects me more than everyone. Yeah. It, so I would say anyone that's like a Virgo sun, Virgo rising, Virgo moon, or Gemini sun, Gemini rising, Gemini moon. Wow. I know. Okay. Well, this obviously is not about me, but now it's becoming <laughs> well, about Well, yeah. Me I mean, this is a, why we're here. I <laughs> yes, got to talk exactly. about all this. Yes. Uh, okay. So first and foremost, you're a Taurus. Yes. Are you willing to share your big three? Yeah, of course. Okay. What's your moon? Yes, so my moon's Aquarius, and okay. then I'm a Scorpio rising. Right. Yes. Scorpio rising. Yes, yes, we yes. love that. Okay. What would you say is the worst sign and why is it Pisces men? Oh my god, don't do it. It is. Don't even do this to me. Oh my goodness. Okay. It is. It's Pisces men. So, I mean, you've probably had a, a hard situation, clearly, mm-hmm. as a water sign. Um <laughs> It's, we can't group, okay, so we have a whole chart, right? So I right. never like to group people into just their zodiac sign. It's it's the chart itself. So their moon sign, their Venus, their Mars, all of that affects how they are in relationships. Mm. So you really need the full picture to kind of really make an assessment on somebody and how they're going to be. But for Pisces, it's a sign, it's a mutable sign. It's mutable water. So it, it likes flexibility. It mm-hmm. doesn't like boundaries. Mm. It likes no boundaries. to be free. So I think with dating... <laughs> Exactly for a Scorpio who's yes. all about control and you want to know where you stand, mm-hmm. that can be kind of hard, right? So, Impossible. Right? <laughs> Impossible. But that was my past. Now, yeah. my boyfriend is a Gemini. Oh, And okay. I am almost certain that I should be able to get some kind of compensation for that. Uh-uh, no. <laughs> I have to be entitled to compensation for dating a Gemini. There is no oh my way. They get such a bad rap. Honestly. Oh my the most amazing people, like yeah. ride or die, super smart, have your back, curious, but crazy, fun, truly, it's mutable too, like Pisces. So they like change. They're the most flexible signs in the zodiac. So they need, you know, they need um, variety. Mm. Um, so mm-hmm. that's the only thing that I would say about uh, how it's hard when you're like trying to date, right? Right. Yeah. Ugh. God. But but with your Libra Moon. There's probably a good like banter that you guys have because it's another air sign, and so you That's guys true. get along well. That's true. Yeah, yes, yes. Okay. Well, you give me some kind of hope, <laughs> I guess. I, a lot of people always ask because I am I'm glad that you touched on the fact that like your zodiac sign, your sun sign, is not necessarily the most important yep. sign in your entire chart. What would you say? As far as like which house or which like planet rules which sign, which one do you feel is the most telling of like a person's character? Okay, so I think for dating, the two that I would say are the most important, the moon sign, because that's your emotions. That's Mm -hmm. like what you want um, to be fulfilled, right? So that's a very important part of intimacy, right? Your moon. Your Venus would be more the love, like what do we enjoy? How do we get along? And Mars would be more sex. Oh. And passion. <laughs> so, That's the one we um, want. <laughs> so I would say those three planets. And then as far as like the area of the chart, the seventh house kind of shows like relationship wise, like marriage partners. There's an asteroid called Juno that shows like kind of uh, it gives another aspect in terms of like what kind of marriage partner you like. So I would say those. Mm, yeah. The Juno. I the Juno. Heard that. And you know, it's not usually in like uh, when you're doing um your chart like on astral.com mm-hmm. you kind of have to pick it so it's yeah. not always it doesn't always come up 
What um, are your favorite apps? Um, you know what? I have software, but astral.com was like always my favorite. Like mm-hmm. if I'm like out and I don't have my software, I like that. I know a lot of people like the pattern and uh, what's the other one? Co-star. Coast Star. Those, those are, are my good. Two. Yeah. I mean, those are the two that I feel like everybody's using these yeah. days. So yeah. Yeah. Say those. yeah. Okay. So if you have those, you're in luck. Yes. Um, you know something. And I something. think those were like done by legit astrologers. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I would also download the software if I knew where to find it. <laughs> like I yes. need the whole I need the whole perspective. You have to, um you have to buy it. So if oh. you're into astrology like and you want to invest in software, it's it's good cuz you can like run the chart on your computer. Yeah. I do, but depends on how much it is. Oh yeah. Is it like 39.99 a no, month? No, 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 no. We're talking hundreds. <laughs> a but month? You, no, no, no. It's like it's permanent on your computer. So uh-huh. I don't have to worry about that. Yeah. I got to think about it. You got to think about it. Let that. me let me mull that over. I'll, I'll consider it. Um, okay. What do you think about signs of the same element dating each other? Ooh. Okay. So I think that actually is the best compatibility <gasps> when signs Ooh. are the same. Like not the same zodiac sign. That can right. work too. But when it's like complimentary, right? Like so earth signs. Mm. So like my husband's a Capricorn. I'm a Taurus. Mm. That's like a, it's, you have a, a understanding of each other. You get along. Right. Um, two water signs typically would get along. Um, obviously the whole chart is you have to look at that it kind of depends on that but for the most part elements that'll be like the general compatibility that they tell you right mm-hmm. um, they'll say oh if you're a Pisces you should date a Cancer or Scorpio yeah. or if you're but Aries then, you as know? a water sign I just find that to be well, you have too an air much moon. emotions you have an air moon so air moons typically don't like too much emotions they like mm-hmm. a little bit of they rationalize how they think, right? Mm-hmm. So it's not like, even though you're a Scorpio, you have a little bit of a detached personality. I mean, I have Aquarius moon, so I understand. <laughs> yes. But yes. like, it's more practical versus emotional. So right. the emotions can be a little bit of a turnoff. So that's my problem. Yeah. But you're with a Gemini, so mm-hmm. you'll do better than a Scorpio that has like a Scorpio moon or a Cancer moon in a relationship with this Gemini. Right. He has a Taurus moon rising Sag. Oh, okay. So he's very um, grounded. He's a grounded type of Gemini. Mm -hmm. But he still needs a lot of freedom because Mm -hmm. Jupiter rules his chart. He's a Sagittarius rising, travel. Yes. All of that. Probably very smart. I mean, Gemini and Sag, having those two signs together in your big three, someone that's very, you know, intellectual Mm -hmm. and just is very a learner. You know what I mean? Someone that likes to learn. But that Taurus. The Taurus moon is like the the stubborn part. Mm -hmm. And with the Scorpio, it's like, what? Yes. Like, you know what I mean? Yes. It could butt heads a little bit. All the but, time. But, um, yeah. All the time. And then I feel like my Virgo rising and his, like, Gemini Sag are fighting for who's the smartest. <laughs> oh, yes. Because it's <laughs> Who both knows Mercury best? and, like, probably just you guys like learning together. Yes, that's true. Yeah. I love him. Aww. He's annoying. They're How very long have you guys been dating? Five years. Oh, yeah. That's a long time. It's a long time. So you're compatible. I hope. So they say. <laughs> so they say. But then when I read things about like Scorpios and Geminis, it's like stay away. But if you can make it work, it's like a really, really great bond. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know. I feel like sometimes, you know, you put your signs in this compatibility. You kind of just have and... to you have to go with your um your your gut and your yeah. spirit. Like the astrology is fun, but there's still um Go with how you feel. Right. And you know if it's off or not. You know what I mean? And right. a lot of the times that is that is something in the chart because there's a synastry chart. So you have two charts where you put them together mm-hmm. and you see how the planets kind of interact and the aspects that happen between the charts. And then that gives you more insight into like, it gives you more detail than just the signs themselves. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Are there any signs or placements that absolutely should not go together? I think if you have like, a Saturn opposite moon, sometimes that's hard um, because you feel judged by the person mm. emotionally that it can feel very heavy if there's not things to compensate. I mean, it's not detrimental, like it can't work. Yeah. It just makes it a little bit more difficult. Um, if you have it where, you know, maybe someone's um, Venus or Mars falls into your 12th house, there's like the 12th house is a house where you can't really see things. And so there might be like a little bit of misunderstanding there or like you're not connected. 
I mean, it gets very complicated mm-hmm. very fast, which is why seeing like a professional astrologer is really recommended. Yeah. C- to kind of work through it all. But you would say there are no bad signs because people listening I mean, are going to be like, let me tell you about it's Capricorns. It's, <laughs> it's not that there's not bad. It's just you need the full picture to make the final decision. Uh-huh. Does that make sense? So yeah. like, I never like to, unless you've had like, you've dated five of one sign and mm-hmm. it just absolutely didn't work out. I wouldn't encourage you to just write somebody off just because their zodiac sign is you read it and it's not compatible because you have you have to see the full picture. You have to see the moon sign. You have to see the Mars. You have to see the rising sign. You have to see all these other things and how this person um, relates to the planets in your chart. So but I will say um, there are certain signs that just get along better than others. You Mm -hmm. know what I mean? I feel like Gemini's and Scorpio's get a bad rap in general. That is true. And I'm sorry. but like Scorpio is very loyal and very intense and passionate. Ride and I or think die. Ride or die. Literally. So I think people, it just intimidates them. You know what I mean? Yeah. So <laughs> don't be mad at the Scorpios, guys. Exactly. Give the Scorpios the love. Yeah. Honestly, and the Geminis. Like one of my best friends is a Gemini. Yeah. I attract Geminis for whatever reason. And I really do you love the them. Mercury like ruler. Yeah. they are loyal till the death. Like they will do anything for you. Yeah. And. I feel like as a Scorpio, I value that because yeah. I'm the same way. For sure. Like you are a giver. Yeah, yeah. That's how I feel. And Virgo rising likes to take care of people. That's so. true. <laughs> that's true. I wish that my Virgo rising could seep more into everything else that I'm doing because I want to be that organized oh, Virgo. Yeah. I want to be that like very meticulous Virgo. Yeah. And it's just not happening. I think it's the the Libra moon. You probably have so many different like things you want to do, right? Damn. I blame my Libra moon for everything. It's but it's 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 your social. <laughs> yeah, it, it helps you connect with people, mm. so that's good. Okay. Yeah, I'll take that. How much do you think? Because I was thinking about this earlier. Because you know we got a bunch of different voicemails and messages from people talking about their dating lives and just you know and it's not just heterosexual couples like they're you know a bunch of different things and it runs the gamut which i love um but how much like actually in astrology does a gender binary play a role in anything because you hear like on tiktok i scroll through they'll be like all pisces men are trash all scorpio men are trash all this are like and all cancer women are like this and it's like i love that i just gave the water signs but um i know i (laughs) like it's it's always I feel like we kind of group them together, yeah. um, which, you know, for Pisces men, that is accurate. Yeah. They are trash. No, but- <laughs> don't do it. I'm sorry, Pisces. Don't do no, it it's to just them. Bad. But like, how much do you feel like, I, I feel like a lot of astrology from what I think that the average person consumes includes some kind of gender binary, but is there even a binary when it comes to the stars? Like the, the, the star C gender, basically. Right, exactly. Um, you know what? Some astrologers believe that. Mm-hmm. I think um, I don't like to touch that mm-hmm. uh, just because people are just so complex and I don't want to like group right. things. I don't, I'm not, I don't know what it feels like to be LGBT, LGBTQ. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I just think I would read the chart like I would read it for anyone else. And I, I'll never assume someone's... Um, you know, sexual preference when I'm doing reading. Yeah. That's just kind of how I do I love it. that. Because yeah. I feel like, you know, it's just, it's so common to assume and I feel like you, you can't. Yeah, yeah. Okay, which sign combination do you feel is the most fruitful and which one do you think is the most disastrous? Fruitful, like, um, you mean like in they would do well in relationships yeah. together? Yeah. Ooh. I like Taurus and Capricorn because that's... Uh. <laughs> You, you see where I'm going. Oh, naturally. Because um, my husband's a Capricorn. I'm a Taurus. I think that is more like two signs that are different enough, but they get a, they have a lot, enough similarities to really um, build like a life together that mm-hmm. they love. Now, depending on the other stuff going on in the chart, right? Um, I, like, I like Leo and Aries sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> It kind of depends. It needs to be an Aries that knows how to, like, stroke the Leo's ego Mm. and give them what they want. You know what Mm -hmm. I mean? Um, I like, okay, let's do some air signs. Uh, Libra and Aquarius, I find that's really good for friendships. Mm. But it can be good for relationships, too. Um, 
just the air signs. It's something about like Libra gives Aquarius enough freedom that they need because Aquarians need freedom. Yes. So I feel like Libras give them enough of that um, to satisfy like, and then the Aquarius can be like, it softens them a little bit. Mm -hmm. So I like that combination. Um, Let's see. We did Earth. We did air, water, fire, is left. and now water. I like Scorpio and Pisces. Ugh. Wait, I know we've Ooh. been dragging. You've been, you've been ragging on the Pisces <laughs> the whole time. But um, the reason I like that is because they're both more. I mean, all water signs are really intuitive. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think those signs are very like mystical. Yeah. Um, so they. Uh, it's almost like they they don't even need to speak to connect. Mm, mm-hmm. um, so there that can be true. right. So like even though you've had some hard situations, it was like the reason why it's probably been so hard for you is because it was emotionally so there yes. was a connection there, yeah. right? And so it felt really heavy when it doesn't work out. It, it, it you you get scorned, mm-hmm. <laughs> and so I think. Um, but when it's good, it's good. Right. I think for Scorpios, they need the Pisces that are. Um, that maybe have a little bit more earth in their chart or they have something that grounds them more mm-hmm. um, because it or something that will give them like the loyalty and the security that the Scorpio needs. And I right. feel like if that, then it can be like a match made. Yeah. Um, I really like that combination though. What do you think out of the four elements, like what does each element need in a partner? Ooh, okay. So we'll go through. So Aries, well, let's we're doing earth, air, fire, water. Yeah. So, OK, so fire signs, all of them are a little bit um, like they're uh, impatient. They are usually direct. Mm-hmm. Um, they usually like passion. So all of them, they're going to need some sort of like spark or passion in a relationship. I would say that's the common thread. Um Fun, mm-hmm. like all three of them love to have fun. And so if that's missing, like they'll be the ones to be like, oh, they're too boring for me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Yes. So yes. I think that fire for sure. Earth, it all boils down to like stability and like knowing where somebody's going. Mm-hmm. Like, do you have a plan in life? Mm-hmm. Do you um, take care of your business? Are you responsible? Mm-hmm. Like they're really looking for people to like ground them and make just make them feel like okay we can build a life together i would say building is like the common thread for all the earth signs for the water signs or let's go to air for the air signs it's it's banter Mm. it's like you Mm -hmm. gotta be quick on the uptake yes yes (laughs) it's true over there it's true Um, quick on the uptake just very um chatty social oh my like God, they chatty. can't be with the introvert right like right. like it, so you are with the gemini so he is so ch- well, i call I him chatty kathy every day chatty he, kathy. right in the morning he like wakes up 8 a.m is like, he more what chatty do you want to do, do? yes okay cool <laughs> yes um <laughs> So I think, uh, yeah, there just needs to be like the connection, but like, I don't want to say they can't be with an introvert because that's not true, but it's more like they don't want to feel like they're not having an intellectual connection with their partner. Like Mm -hmm. that's so important that just our minds, you know, like that's sexy to them. Yeah. Um, And then for the water signs, um, and sorry, we didn't name all of them as we went through, but I'll just go back. Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, Earth, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Um, Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and then for the water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, they all need emotional security. Mm -hmm. It's like feeling Mm. like Mm -mm -mm. you're not going to leave me, especially if they've gone through some sort of trauma or something like that in their life, which a lot of us have, right? Um, They need, yeah, no, for real. (laughs) You need like that reassurance, like you're going to be my secure person. I can tell you everything. I can trust you with my secrets. Yes. Um, And they have to feel it. So it can't be forced. And they're very... um, I feel like all the water signs, they tread lightly when, with relationships. They don't open up mm-hmm. completely very fast. Um, so if they earn your trust, they'll do whatever, you know, they'll do whatever for you. So I think those are the common threads between the elements. Ooh, that hit hard. That hit different. <laughs> that hit different because the water sign, if, as a water sign, that is 1000% correct. Yeah. Like I have to be able to literally trust you with my life. Yeah. Like it has to be that deep. And if it's not that to me it's not it's just not gonna be it's never gonna be that yeah like 
it, it will be something, but it's never going to be that. Yeah, yeah. Like you can, you'll know how to have the boundaries. You'll, and mm-hmm. that's a very Scorpio thing, by the way. Um, and I have three planets in Scorpio and Scorpio rising, even though I'm a Taurus. So I know, I know that sign mm-hmm. very intimately. And it's like, you'll always like, You'll just keep them. Here's the door. Mm-hmm. And they'll always be outside the door. They might be able to come in mm-hmm. sometimes, but they're never going to have the full access to the house. Like, no. there's just like, you'll put the boundary up mm-hmm. and it'll never change. Right. Because it's a fixed water sign. So yes. things stick. Once you make your, you know, assessment about somebody. That's it. It's like, they that can't really, come back. That's, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> I literally said it the other day. I was like, once I've pulled your card, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. I know where you stand. That's it. And you never forget. I never forget. Yeah. So. <laughs> I don't. Sorry, it's guys. Don't. That's if you're going to be dealing with a Scorpio. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Some people, I, there were actually a lot of people who wrote in and they were asking, is there ever a situation where the same sign can work as far as, yeah. you know, I guess romantic relationships are involved because this is about dating. Yeah. We're going to have to come back when we're talking about friendships. Yes. Yes. <laughs> but when it comes to yes. dating, is there ever a situation where the same signs can definitely work together? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I personally like contrast. Um, I think that's how you, well, let me back up because I'm going to get to that. But like for the contrast, that's how you grow, right? When you like are with someone different mm-hmm. and, you know, you're not really the same. They're like a, seeing things from a completely different view that challenges you. So I like that. So that's why I kind of like when people have the same element, but maybe they're a different sign because you're going to come up, you're, you're different people, right? Yeah. But when it comes to dating the same sign, um, it highlights the things about yourself that you can't see. So it's like mm. a mirror. And I think for relationships and evolution and like just spiritual growth because I'm all about the spiritual growth you need that um to see yourself yeah and so when you're dating someone of the same sign the things that bother you the most Mm -hmm. are the things you do to people and you don't know Mm -hmm. (laughs) so Mm -hmm. I think um it can be challenging but I think it also obviously because you also know that person right you know how to speak to them you know how to get what you want out of them yes because you 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 have a lot of things in common the thing is though but in every sign there's like there's different degrees there's decans like you can drill down so even within a zodiac sign there's differences between people Mm -hmm. so you know people are like oh well he's a a may gemini not a june Mm -hmm. gemini there is something to that because Mm -hmm. there's different degrees and all that i won't get too technical so even if you have the same sign as somebody you're you still have different sub rulers right right and there's just it's complex like relationships in and I love astrology for dating like that's the number one people reason people see me is for love and career yeah um but I always have to preface it with like don't just look at the sign that they are you got to get the full picture. you got to get the full chart. yes we yeah get the full but if I know chart. sun moon rising I can get a lot of information from that what about your husband did you read his chart oh. before <laughs> you started dating him like was that the first date question it wasn't so I wasn't really dating him romantically like we kind of were friends mm-hmm. are kind of friendly um, but I did ask him his birth time he gave me the wrong one by the way which I discovered once <gasps> we were like moving in together how dare he I was like I thought you were a Gemini rising this whole time you're a Pisces rising it was like a big existential crisis um but it it was fine because it it, the chart still stays the same it's just Mm -hmm. the if the rising sign changes it shifts and the houses shift but the aspects are the same so for me it was just it made more sense to me though because even though he's a Capricorn he's a Pisces rising he's a very spiritual you know people are always like oh Capricorns they're super ambitious and they work hard Mm -hmm. and all those things are true but he's not like the typical materialistic Capricorn that yeah. only cares about work. That's not him, but he has a Pisces rising. So it kind of made a lot of sense. And he has a Taurus moon mm. and I, my son's in Taurus. So that's a sinistry aspect. Wow. Isn't that, it's insane how much everything plays a role. Yeah. And like, we don't think about it because when I meet one thing about me, I know a November Scorpio <laughs> from an October Scorpio <laughs> immediately, immediately. I met one last night. He didn't even have to what tell me. What is it about it, though, that he, you... Everything. It's the vibe. You <laughs> just know because it's, it's vibe. your vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's everything. And, like, you could think, like, oh, they're they're this sign. Like, I love that sign. I always get along with that sign. Yeah. And then you meet the person and, like, you really start hanging out. And you're like, 
Yeah. You're kind of weird. I know, right? What's your moon? Like, give me your moon. <laughs> yeah. And I feel like now everyone knows it. Yes. Like, even, like, I've been seriously studying astrology for over 15 years now. And, like, even five years ago, yeah. it still was this, like, mm, you're into astrology, but I feel like everyone's into it yes. now. And, like, TikTok and Instagram and everyone has the app. So, like, mm-hmm. I could imagine dating, and I'm glad I'm not doing it anymore, mm-hmm. but I can imagine that's the first thing people hit. Like, what's your co-star? <laughs> what's yes. Your... <laughs> yes. Like, it just adds a different element. But it, it's also very useful. Yeah. No, it's true. I, I love it. I think it's so fun. And I, I feel like there's always something to learn about someone yeah. from their signs. I just think I think it's great. Yeah. Anyways, let's get into some calls and some questions because the people have questions. Okay. 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 So I'm going to play it. This is the first one. I don't even know if they told us their name. Sometimes people like to be anonymous. And I, I respect I feel that. You. I respect that. Especially if you date in these some internet crazy streets. Sign, yeah. Right? You wanna you wanna be <laughs> making sure you all good. Okay, so I'm gonna play this first one. Okay. And we will see. Oh, we have a voice note? Yes. Oh good. Okay. Yes. Okay. And I'm dating a Scorpio sun, Capricorn moon. I don't know what his rising is, but like we basically have like six of the planets, I guess, in our charts that are the same. And I don't know if that's like good or bad. Like we get along really well. I actually think he's my twin flame. So Mm. the whole story, like literally everything checks out with like the whole description of twin flames and everything. So is this a good thing or a bad thing or could it be both like I mean, yeah, please thank you bye I love you by the way okay oh <laughs> so sweet I, I love you too okay. twin so, flames yeah so I definitely I did a whole video about the t- twin flames that's a whole thing mm-hmm. um and I think people have different beliefs about twin flames mm-hmm. um I think we can have mold I think that and soulmates are different I think we can have multiple soulmates um, I think our friends can be our soulmates, our dogs, our family members, like a brother, or sister. Um, with the twin flame, there's definitely like a soulmates are karmic, but twin flame is like a there's levels to it, right? Mm-hmm. So there's like a karmic, karmic, like oh we're karmic, mm-hmm. karmic. We connect, flame, connect, we connect, connect, we connect, connect it. Yeah, um, but there's always some sort of like challenge and with soulmate relationships you have that too and I think with the twin flame sometimes it feels like you're like running in circles and you're not on the same page Mm. um and if you believe in multiple lives um sometimes they'll say like you you're not supposed to be together even though there's this pool like you're my other half but I believe you can marry your twin flame so I don't know it's everyone has their own beliefs about that sort mm-hmm. of thing. Well, what what is a twin flame? Twin flame is basically well, in layman's uh, the easiest description, it's like two souls that split and they are really one. So this person feels like your twin. It feels like the other half of you, mm-hmm. and it feels very familiar. So like you'll meet them, and there's this instant like I've known you before. Mm-hmm. And I feel like with soulmates that happens too. Um, but with the twin flames, it's super heightened and like it could feel very passionate very fast. It can move very fast. Um, but then things can happen to where like it feels like a Romeo and Juliet situation. Mm. So um, a lot of the times when people are talking about twin flames, there's like a like a little bit of a pain associated because they can't get on the same page, mm. um, which is painful. Right. Like when you have that sort of connection to someone, you want to be able to, you know, act on it. Right. Um, so I, I don't remember so she said she was a capricorn moon she said she had an aries rising and she said she had who was her sun sign we might have to replay i'm gonna play it again run that back run it back okay um so i'm a scorpio sun capricorn moon and aries rising and i'm dating a scorpio sun capricorn moon i don't know what his rising is but like we basically have like six of the planets i guess in our charts that are the same and I don't know if that's like good or bad like we get along really well I actually think he's my twin flame so the whole story like literally everything checks out with like the whole description of twin flames and everything so is this a good thing or a bad thing or could it be both like I mean yeah just please thank you Mm-hmm. So they're both Scorpio Sun Capricorn, Capricorn Moon, and she's an Aries rising. Mm-hmm. She doesn't know what his rising is. Yeah. So okay, 
and I like to visualize a chart. So if she's an Aries sun, then her Mars Scorpio sun. Or Scorpio sun, mm-hmm. but she's Aries rising, Mars rules her chart. Libra rules her seventh house and Scorpio rules her eighth house and that's in whole sign. I'm doing this in my head. Ooh, I'm seeing like I need them to insert like the meme with the, cal- the calculations me. coming up. And like, that's literally me. I'm like, okay, let's see the chart. Where is everything? Okay. Cause like at least with the three, I can set the ruler and then do the chart by the 12 houses. Okay. So the reason why this feels like a twin flame to her is because it's like the mirror, like we were talking about. Mm-hmm. She's seeing herself. They're the same sun sign and they have the same moon. Scorpio sun already is not very trusting of people. Mm-hmm. It takes a while to let people in. And the thing about Scorpio is, it's funny, my last boyfriend before my husband was a Scorpio. Oof. And he was telling me how he dated another Scorpio, Oof. but he couldn't trust her 100% because he knew that they both have secrets. Like mm. he knew himself, mm. he saw himself in her. Right. That it just felt like they could never really become one if yes. that makes sense oh, because makes they sense always have some sort of guarded guard I could up. never I could never date a Scorpio okay so there you go mm. yeah 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 no, so you get I it know you. you know you're like I know you got some little <laughs> yeah. stuff in the you closet got demons there. yeah in there. exactly and I know because I got the same ones in mine <laughs> Mm-hmm. Um, so I think with her, uh, there's that hurdle to overcome, right? So that's the first thing. Capricorn moon is considered to be in its detriment because ca- the moon rules cancer and cancer is opposite Capricorn. They're opposite signs. Mm-hmm. So the moon in detriment, it's like a moon that doesn't know how to operate. The moon is a very loving planet. It's warm. It's nurturing. And it's in a cold Saturn ruled sign Capricorn. So it's in foreign lands and Mm. it doesn't even know how it feels. So one thing I've found with Capricorn moon people, they, they have a lot of ambition. They, you know, they want security. They want to achieve things like that emotionally that will fulfill them. But when it comes to interpersonal relationships, it can be a challenge because they come across cold. They don't know why because they can't even almost access their feelings all the time. Mm-hmm. And they don't want to feel it because it's a practical sign. So two moon signs and trust me, so my longest relationship was with the Capricorn sun and Capricorn moon and Taurus rising. So I'm very familiar. Wow. And um, that moon, and I have an Aquarius moon, another Saturn, that can be a, a disconnect when it's not, they're never um, almost like let each other in into, when it comes to intimacy and like emotional trust. So you have a sun sign in Scorpio that is already not trusting. And then yeah. you have a moon sign in Capricorn that's also not fully allowing you in either yeah so it's it just it just especially and I don't know how young she is Mm -hmm. and obviously the younger we are the harder relationships seem to be because we're just learning about life but like when you're young it's almost that energy super pure because you Mm -hmm. haven't learned to manage it so unless you get become super self-aware right you know which I think we all like we're here to grow, right? Um, it's difficult because you, you're you constantly staying in your feelings and you guys both are like this when things are wrong because Scorpio is a fixed water sign and they kind of dig their feet mm-hmm. in. And Capricorn, horned animal sun signs are stubborn too. Yeah. My dad always used to say the horn animals, the Aries, Capricorn, yes. Taurus, all yes. like, he's like, those are the stubborn ones. You see them like, coming. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's true. So that, that sign, both of those signs can be very stuck in their ways. So mm-hmm. when there's a disagreement, how do they get over it? Right. So I haven't seen both of their charts, but I could say there's probably a lot of familiarity there, but it could be problematic when relationships have issues all the time. So. Right. So there's not to say that there is no hope. Yeah. But it's really, I think that what you're saying is that their biggest challenge is probably going to be communicating their emotions. Yeah. Like learning to A, identify how they feel, Mm -hmm. B, communicate them and trust uh, each other with each other's emotions, Mm -hmm. like letting the guard down. And if you can do that, you'll be great. Yeah. You'll be Gucci. You'll be sad. (laughs) There we go. See? You know, talk it out. Yeah. Yeah. That's that. Definitely. I always, um, I mean, therapy, mm-hmm. we all need it, mm-hmm. you know? Absolutely. So I think get to know yourself, yes. work on your stuff because you're not going to be able to get in a relationship with anybody, no matter what their sign is, if you haven't, you know, handled that. So and that that's would be my on what? Period. <laughs> that's on therapy. That's on better help. They don't sponsor this, but maybe they will after this. Okay. Moving on to the next one. Hey, Cammy girl, this is Toy. I'm 46, very single. I'm in Aries. Currently, I'm single, 
And I just don't know where the real fucking men at. So I don't know which sign I need to be with or who or what or how. So if you can help, that'd be great, girl. Talk to you later. Bye. First of all, I love you. That I energy. I want her to get love just for that, just off of that message, please. Where the real <laughs> fucking men at? <laughs> I know. We all ask the same you, toy. question. That's so funny. I feel you. Uh, toy, are you my cousin? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Who should Toy be with? Okay, so Toy is an Aries. She didn't give us any other information. But knowing that she's an Aries, knowing that she's been in the dating game for a while, um, you know, at her age, she's a little bit more impatient. She probably is looking for someone that's fun, someone that, you know, doesn't want to control her like once you get past a certain age in your life like you kind of you're stuck in your ways you know who you are you're looking for someone to compliment your life not change it around so Mm -hmm. i'm just making assumptions based off of the information we have so for her you know maybe a sagittarius i like aries and sag Mm -hmm. one of my best friends she's a um sag and her husband's an aries and the reason i'm saying that just is because it would bring it's a, a good sign for the, her to explore the world with mm. if she's into travel or just like, you know, have fun. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, we go through life. We go through our 20s. It can be hard. Our 30s. We have other challenges. You get to your 40s. You're probably looking like, OK, what do I want my life to look like right. in the future? I want to have fun. I want to see the world. So I think Sagittarius would be good for that. Um, another I like Leo and Aries sometimes. Um, we talked about that. If she's willing to kind of, if, I don't know what, what her moon is or what her Venus is, but like if she's good at like taking care of her men and mm-hmm. kind of, you know, if she's into that, a, a Leo would be good because he would receive it and yeah. give her the affirmation she needs. Um, and then what's this, a non-fire sign that I like for Aries? Um, you know, Aries is, hmm, Libra is the opposite sign. That can actually be a good a good thing I've Mm -hmm. seen a lot of Aries Libras work um, just because even though they're opposites Libras aren't like they don't they're very they like to please people right and mm-hmm. aries likes to fight mm-hmm. <laughs> it's mars that's ruled yeah that's my mom is an aries a... oh see Child. Uh... <laughs> love her but they definitely like to go back and forth yes it's a mars ruled sign so it's all about like so with the libra being like such a sign that's ruled by venus and it's nice it can calm the aries energy down mm-hmm. a lot and provide the balance that they need yes so i actually like that when it comes to opposite signs so we gave her a few options mm-hmm. there. They're out there, toy. Just hang in there, toy. You just gotta hang in there. Yeah. <laughs> We're the good. We're sending you men vibes. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. I get it. Trust me. Okay. Here is another one from Elizabeth. Hey, Cami. My name is Elizabeth. Um, I'm calling with a little story. I'll try to make it quick. That's really crazy. Um, so I met my current boyfriend when we were both 14 years old we're now 30 Uh, we met online and kind of maintained contact on and off for years and just met each other in person um may 2020 i am in south dakota he's in tennessee and i drove all the way there um in one day so that I could finally meet him after years and years. Um, And anyway, we hit it off. We've been together since um, May of last year, and I am about to pack up my life and move my ass to Tennessee. So um, I would love to get your insight as to what you think might happen or if you think that we are compatible um, I am a Pisces, and he is a Scorpio. So I'm really looking forward to hearing what you think. Thanks. Have a good one. Wait, did I hear this correct? Did she say she met him when she was a teenager and yes. she, she's 30 now? 14. They met at 14, and now they're 30. They met online. And they've been, and they're just now meeting? Yes. Girl, have you seen the show MTV's Catfish? I have. <laughs> I have not watched. That's why. This is why I'm not surprised. Wait, what? <laughs> this happens all the time in my world. It, 
Yes. My mind is blown right now that you could talk to someone online for 16 years. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's a whole nother. (laughs) Yep. Okay. (laughs) This is a lot to to process and digest. Yes. Yes. But we only have two points of information, Mm -hmm. Pisces and Scorpio. So we talked about that. We talked about how those two signs can be very spiritual. They can be on the same page. They don't need to necessarily talk to know what each other is feeling. Mm -hmm. Um, Clearly, he has a lot of staying power and endurance uh, being a Scorpio man, which Scorpio is known for endurance. If that's one thing a Scorpio is going to do, they're going to endure. They're going to overcome. They're going to transform. The apocalypse. Exactly. Yes. Literally stay alive. Everything. Yes. (laughs) So I think the fact that they've been talking for this long and never had met um, says a lot. So that's good. Um, I think... You know, Pisces, they, if they don't have like a lot of grounding planets in their chart, like Earth planets, um, it can be a sign that, you know, can change its mind. Mm. So I I just hope that she doesn't get there and be like, what the F did I do? Actually, never mind. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. So, um, but I would say if they, if it's been this long and she's committed, then, you know, more power to you, girl. Yeah. It's tough out here in these streets. It is. uh, Take love where you can find it. 14 Go to, Tennessee. to 30. Yeah. That's insane. This is, I mean, this is my everyday. Wow. This is this is my experience. <laughs> um, your norm. But I think it's amazing because obviously there's something that is drawing you to each other for you to take that leap. I can't even believe that. First of all, drive safely. Yeah. Um, to drive all the way from South Dakota to Tennessee. Yeah, that's good. That is, that has love, to be love. love. Yeah, no, that's exactly what we're talking about. Yeah. That is crazy. You are in love, love. So good that's, for you. Uh, crazy in love. Uh, yes, like yes, <laughs> definitely. But I think, you know, obviously don't know if your boyfriend's going to be listening to this, but like on the Scorpio side of things, I know when it comes to Pisces specifically, like my sister is a Pisces, I'm obviously a Scorpio and it's not a romantic relationship, obviously, but I have had to kind of manage my delivery mm. when it comes to speaking to mm-hmm. Pisces. Yeah. Um, and even with Gemini, because Geminis are also sensitive signs. Scorpios are very sensitive signs too, but we have that exterior that makes us come across like we're not as sensitive as we are because yeah. it, we're so guarded in allowing people even into that it's like an onion yeah and the the emotions are at the core yeah you got to really you get in there like a lot <laughs> You got to feel back a lot. That's a good point because Scorpio is traditionally Mars ruled like Aries. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it also is about strategy, war, fighting. Yes. You know what I mean? So um, that's why the direct, like anytime I see someone with Mercury in Scorpio, I'm like, oh, they know how to pierce someone Mm -hmm. and cut them where it hurts. My my Mercury's in Scorpio. Okay. So it's like, you know how to get to the bottom of somebody's like Mm -hmm. weakness, quote unquote, Mm -hmm. in, in take advantage of that you know if you want to not saying Scorpios all do that but they Mm -hmm. have the ability to so with the Pisces it's a good point it's one of it's compassion like that's one of the words associated with Pisces and it's a Jupiter ruled sign and Jupiter is like la 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 I want to have fun Mm -hmm. um and Neptune which is more spiritual and all of that so they can be more sensitive yeah even though Scorpio can be sensitive as well yeah great point so just just tell him to be be kind yes Work good on, luck. yeah. Well, good luck, good luck, because that is crazy. But oh my good for you. You sound it's young. You sound, you sound lively. Me. Yeah, <laughs> thirty. You're you're good. You got some time. You could figure things out. Mm-hmm. Okay, here goes the next one. Hey, Cammy, it's Fallon calling in from Cleveland, Ohio. Super fan. I'm a Scorpio mm. like you, and I am dating an Aquarius. What do you think about that? Is this going to be something? Am I wasting my time? Love to hear from you. Thanks. Okay. All right. We're Uh-oh. getting a lot of Scorpio vibes. A energy. lot of Scorpio. Yeah. You know I attract my people. You're gonna attra- yeah, you're going to attract. Yes, exactly. <laughs> um, okay. So Scorpio, we've talked about 
we haven't really talked about Aquarius that much. Aquarius and Scorpio, they have two things in common. They're fixed signs. Mm -hmm. So that alone is a common ground. So if it's not the same element, the mode or modality can help um, because they both have similar motivations. Now, those two signs are 90 degrees from each other. So that's a tension point in astrology that's called a square. So anytime plant, yeah, and it's like, Mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. So anytime there's a square between, you know, planets or a square between signs, like your sun sign and somebody else's, it has the energy of Mars. So it can bring a lot of fights and contention. And mm. it's kind of to like um, get you kind of off your your ass and like work towards it. Right. Like to make it better. So it's you're not doomed. But I will say that Scorpio and Aquarius have completely different motivations as signs like Scorpio wants to like. I went out with a Scorpio one time and he's like, I want to consume your soul. Like he literally said that to me. And so like, yes. And I was like, okay. Like like, wrist training order immediately. (laughs) Oh my God. It's And so it's like, that is like a very intense energy. And like, I'm familiar with that me personally, because I do have Scorpio planets, but I also have an Aquarius moon. And so Mm -hmm. I can understand that side of things. The Aquarius energy wants freedom. And it wants to be able to go as it pleases. It does not want to be consumed. It does not want to be consumed. So (laughs) that alone is something to overcome unless, unless he has like, a bunch of water in his chart or a, a lot of earth. But for the most part, I find a lot of Aquarians, they're very, you know, they can be stubborn too. So mm-hmm. when there's fights, there's there's an issue because no one wants to back down. Mm-hmm. But, um, and they get really attached to their ideals and how things should be. And when there's an argument from a Scorpio that's going off of emotion and this Aquarius is going off a of rational they're coming from two different perspectives, right? Right. Like one's like, I just feel this way. And he's like, well, that doesn't make sense. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's frustrating in a relationship when you're not getting what you need from your partner. So that's, I mean, I don't know what their dynamic is because I don't have the full picture, mm-hmm. but I could imagine that that could be an issue. Cause she asked if she's wasting her time. Mm-hmm. Aquarian, it is ruled by it, Aquarius is ruled by Saturn traditionally and Saturn moves slow and takes time. So they usually aren't in a rush to, you know, mm. and I don't know if she wants to get married. Or, mm-hmm. So I would just say if she's not feeling it because Scorpios are intuitive, mm-hmm. then she might want to look elsewhere. Yes. I call my intuition intuition. And I oh, say wait, you, she, she knows everything. <laughs> she knows it all. I love that. Okay. Okay. So um, we are going to, yeah, we're going to wrap up soon. But I want to get to at least one person who dm'd yes um so this person says hey so i'm a pisces and i dated a cancer we had a child together but it Mm. didn't end well and even co-parenting has been hard it seems like we can't agree on anything Mm. why do you think this is (sighs) okay so she's a pisces he's a cancer Mm -hmm. they have a divorce so that we have a little bit of information we know divorce sometimes runs in the family and usually if somebody's parents are divorced they have a higher chance of also getting divorced right so Mm -hmm. i don't know if his parents are divorced or hers but we can make the assumption that maybe in their own families they didn't see like a healthy relationship maybe Mm. one thing that i've noticed about cancer men and i we talked about the whole you know binary thing but i've noticed if they aren't nurtured the way that they wanted to be nurtured or they expected to be nurtured because cancer is ruled by the moon and the moon is connected to our mothers. It really messes them up with interpersonal relationships because Mm. it's a sign that's so attached to family and home and being reliable and showing up for people. And when they didn't have that, and they wanted it, there's almost like there's this scar, like a, I can feel the pain, you know, for the, the cancers out there that weren't nurtured correctly. I'm so, I'm so mm. sad because that's like sad, right? That's your yeah. whole thing. So if that is the case with him, which they have a divorce, it's almost like they can never live up to their ideal of what the family structure should look like. Mm. And then when you're trying to build a family with someone, you know, it, it's difficult and it's painful. So I think she said they're not getting along now. Right? Yeah. Um, so it could be that, you know, maybe he's just like, I don't trust you. Like, I don't trust you in my heart and I don't know what happened, mm. but um, he might never open that door again because it's so painful. And it's probably something that has nothing to do with her. It might be right. connected to his childhood. It's just sad if, cause there's a child involved. Right. And if they um, can't get it together, 
You know what I mean? You're just repeating mm-hmm. another cycle of the child following that pattern. So I much love to them. Yes. Get that That's therapy hard. girl. Call in, yeah. Call in Everybody needs it. We got to call in the professional sometimes. Yep, always. Um, God, I feel so bad because there are so many amazing people who wrote in. Um, Was there anyone that were signs that weren't um, water signs? Because we did a lot of water. Yeah. Okay. Let's do this last one. Okay. So. This is from, I don't even know what her name is, but she says, I'm a Libra woman and I'm dating a Virgo woman. Is there longevity? Oh, okay. So the good thing about Libra and Virgo is that they're right next to each other. So when you have signs that are right next to each other, they're different, right? They're not the same element. They're not the same mode, but usually you have planets in that sign. So if you have, if you're a Libra, your Mercury might be in Virgo. Mm. It might be in Scorpio because it's the sign, because Mercury travels really close to the sun. So mm-hmm. it's only in signs like before or after yours or your sign. Got it. So that gives, you know, or Venus, because Venus also is a fast moving planet that travels kind of close to the sun. So if that person's Venus is in your sun sign, so she's a Virgo and they're a Libra, and let's say her partner's um, Venus is in Virgo. Mm-hmm or her Venus is in Libra, that's a sinistry aspect. That's a, a, an aspect where like there's an affinity there, mm-hmm. they can get along well, they can understand each other because they both have planets in each other's zodiac sign. Uh-huh. So that's one piece of information I can give there. When it comes to Virgo and Libra though, again, two different signs, and you live with this mm-hmm. <laughs> because you have the Virgo rising in the Libra moon. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> it's, you know, the Virgo is like very analytical and yes. like, we gotta be like this and we wanna be structured and I wanna help you and service you, which is good. And the Libra is a little bit more like, no, but I wanna relax. Yeah, like I w- Yeah, like let's go to the, you know, let's go get some yeah. ice cream. Let's, let's just go listen to music. Yeah, exactly, let's take a nap. And the Virgo's let's- like, we have email yeah exactly (laughs) so there can be a little bit of like okay we got stuff to do and you're trying to relax Mm -hmm. um that dynamic but i would say it's not um and i I don't i've never haven't come across a lot of virgos telling me that they were dating libras in my practice but um i could imagine that it actually is they're helpful to each other Mm -hmm. so it's almost like virgo um doesn't feel taken advantage of because Libra is so nice. You yeah. typically that's like, you know, yeah. they're, they're nice. Um, that it really, it probably works pretty well. I could imagine. Right. Yeah. And kind of gets Virgo a little out of their shell. Exactly. You know? Having more fun, yes. relaxing a little bit, yes. you know, getting affirmed. Right. Um, it could be for the Libra person a little bit like, Oh, it's getting stale because routine, mm-hmm. you know, um, so there has to be some compromise for sure. Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh, Tamara, you have to come back. Oh, I love, yeah, I would love to. I could talk about this all We could day. go through the whole, all the people we didn't get to. I know. Oh my God. Sorry. If we did not get to your sign, do not fret. Okay. We will do this again because yes. there is so much to talk about. And yeah. like, it's a never ending thing. It's never ending. It's just like space. There's portals. There's all kinds. I don't even want to talk about black holes. I don't know what's out there. We could even talk about the past boyfriends and rate them from signs like okay i yes. know that this one mm-hmm. pisces zero yeah what? <laughs> cancer so, zero so the, triple zero pisces and this cancer. it's just the waters i just don't think i do well I, it's stuff. your air moon it's got to be it's that. your air moon i don't even though i have a lot of water in my chart my air moon doesn't like too much like no dramatic no i don't like i'm not attracted to that yes. so i think it could just be too heavy for you we gonna blame it on the libra moon yeah anyways thank you so much for yes. coming and thank you guys for listening can't wait to talk to you next time and like i said if we didn't get to your sign this time we got you don't yes. worry sit tight okay we got you thanks everybody thank you hi i'm cammy crawford host of the relationship podcast thank you so much for watching if you like this video and want to see more videos click below to subscribe and like this video for more dear media content so shut up and listen